In this video, you'll learn how to use Oribe's Magic Events. We're going to be getting a bit technical here, but by the end of this chapter, you'll have all the main events on your website mapped and ready to use. You probably know firsthand how frustrating most analytics tools make collecting data. While other tools require you to add code to your website in order to collect data, Oribe's core technology, Magic Events, lets you track every event on your site without using code. With Oribe, you're no longer dependent on developers. How do these magic events work? By default, Oribe tracks all the events on your website, every button click, form submission, or page visit. Oribe counts unique visitors, meaning if the same site visitor visits the same page or clicks the same button a number of times, it will only be counted as one page visit or one button click. This ensures that your data isn't skewed by outliers and also allows you to have a better feel for your audience reach. Hundreds, if not thousands of events are tracked on your site each minute. Since that's a lot to sift through, Oribe makes things easy by letting you set the magic events you deem most important. Setting a magic event will allow you to easily view the data for that event within every section of Oribe without having to search for it, as well as create groups of events too. Setting your magic events is super easy. Oribe scans your website and, based on this information, identifies the top events you'll likely want to track. You'll see these events in the Magic Events catalog. Select any event type you'd like from the catalog, and Oribe will show you all the buttons and page groups that, according to our algorithm, represent the event you selected. You can easily add or remove buttons or pages, too. Once your Magic Event is ready to go, click Save and ta-da! Your Magic Event is live. If you don't see the event you want in our catalog, you can also start a Magic Event from scratch. Simply select a button click or page visit to set as your magic event, or create a group of different buttons or pages. Magic events are super flexible. You can set filters, mix and match events to your heart's content, and get exactly the right set of data to fit your needs. And don't worry, you can always set more magic events, or remove them, whenever you want. There are two important things to note about magic events. One. All the data is retroactive. As soon as you set a magic event, you'll be able to see all the data collected for that event since the moment Oribe was added to your website. Immediately see which visitors performed your magic event or what channel they came from. No need to wait to start seeing data after you set a magic event. It's already there. Two, you've got the past and future covered. One of the main headaches you'll face with other tools is that even after you've defined your main events, they still require maintenance. With Oribe, you won't need to adjust the code every time you modify your website. Oribe automatically detects new buttons and pages that match the magic events you've set and adds them. If you do want to track an individual button, you can filter your magic event and indicate the page you'd like the button tracking limited to. Filters also give you the option to exclude buttons appearing on certain pages. You can also set page visits as magic events, whether it's an individual page or a group of pages, like your blog or all your product pages. Magic events lets you group them one by one or by defining a particular phrase that appears in each of the page URLs, like all pages containing slash blog. You can find this option when selecting the pages you want to include in your magic event. Once the magic event is set, new pages matching this definition will automatically be added to it. If you want to edit or remove magic events, go to the Manage Events section. Oribe also offers the option to easily export your magic events to Facebook ads, Google ads, Google Analytics, and MailChimp. You'll learn exactly how to do this in one of the upcoming chapters. Finally, you may wonder what to do if you can't find one of your website events in Oribe. This could be due to a few reasons, so here are three steps you can take. Oribe identifies buttons and pages when they're clicked or visited for the first time after adding Oribe to your site. Try clicking the button or visiting the page yourself and then refresh Oribe. Some buttons might be part of an iframe, 
which is the embedding of a different website, say YouTube, within your website. To track those buttons, either install Oribi on the iframe itself or create a custom event. The button might be an image, which means Oribi won't be able to detect its label. Try scrolling through the buttons list until you find the image. And that's a wrap for our introduction to magic events. Go try making some data magic of your own.